racing.com action at St James Park this evening. You're watching the 360 sponsored by our friends at Westerly Mini. We're hoping to book a place in the semi-final. It's a cold evening. Let's hope the football warms us all up. So it will be Exeter City who will get us underway. Side to Atten Garner. Atten Garner chips forward. Bowman is on side. It drops Swimmy, nods it down. It's Bowman. Bowman shoots. Keeper makes the first save and the defender has to clatter it away for a throw. Garner. Down it comes. Jay, I think, held his head for a moment there. But the referee says play on. He was very close to it. He had a good view. Here's Jake Taylor. Pushes it to the right. Ball back in. Matt Jay trying to turn on the edge of the box. And Jose Bowman. Is he still on side? There was cries from Stevenage that he was in offside position, but the referees allowed it to play on. Back to Sweeney. Sweeney knocks it back to Jay Richardson. Richardson looking to go, just try and dart forward towards the edge of the penalty area. Shrugs off a shoulder bar. Pushes the ball out wide again. Here's Sweeney. Sweeney along the ground. Finds Richardson inside the box. Richardson claws it back Matt Jay can he pull the trigger Taylor Cruyff turns shoots saved by the keeper knocked in second time by Nicky Jose. it's Exeter City 1 Stevenage nil. the goalkeeper couldn't really do much about that he made the initial save but second time just couldn't keep it out Jose puts Exeter in front it's Exeter City 1 Stevenage nil. and uh, the Grecians I think relieved to be in front yeah, I think it's been a little bit tense, but it's great to have a goal in there, but obviously there's a long, long way to go yet. And Running Steve at the defender, Wildin. Gets it on his right foot. Little bit of trickery. Pulls it back to Jake Taylor. Back out to Randall on the corner of the penalty area. Randall trying to get past Wildin. Wildin's got to be careful not to pull him down. Randall's won it back. He's found Jay! Jay shoots! It deflects! It goes in! 
to the City 2, Stevenage 0 and the Grecians now with a positive lead here at St James Park. I think Stevenage will feel it was quite harsh and it took a deflection to loop past the goalkeeper but it doesn't really matter in cut games how they go in. At the moment on 29 minutes, Match A has given Exeter City a second. Yeah, fantastic but let's not take our eye off the ball. Stevenage have come a long way this evening. the half-time whistle and Alexa City have got to be very very happy with that on a thought in the second half and Stevenage get us going and they down and uh, Sweeney kicks it forward ball comes down a lovely little back to Matei J gets the goal for Exeter after a lovely little back heel to put him through hits it on the diagonal it's Exeter City 3 Stevenage nil and you would hope at this stage that that has perhaps secured this match for Exeter and a place in the semi-final. Just 57 minutes gone and Matt Jay gets the third goal to give Exeter City a very comfortable lead this evening. Yeah, brilliant. Matt Jay's been really good tonight actually, really positive. Taking it to them and you know, no one really saw that one coming there. There was a few nice little back flicks and a little bit of trickery but that obviously bamboozled them and we got the goal. So well done Matt Jay. To Randall on this left-hand side. Randall comes towards the penalty area. Randall inside the penalty area. Sweet it in! That's the header. No, the flag is up for offside. It was a delightful, delightful move. And now, here's a name we've not seen for a while. Lee Holmes, scorer of that magnificent goal against Liverpool here in the FA Cup, comes on. And the crowd appreciate the return of Lee Holmes. We haven't seen him for a little while. It's a full-time whistle and uh, it's been, well, incredibly decisive win this tonight. 3-0, um, no doubt about whether or not they deserved it. They have been superior from start to finish in this game. Stevenage have uh, offered very, very little in this match. Um, and the Grecians march on to the semi-finals now and it'll be interesting to see who they get. I would have thought, I mean, Portsmouth is the one to avoid because they'll be the uh, tough one. But, you know, they're in the hat.